Are you one of the many people trying to figure out how a guy making ice cream gained 400,000 subscribers in one week? If I'm being 100% honest, I don't even think I know the answer to that question. I could tell you a few tricks that I think helped me get here. But at the end of the day, I don't really know why people enjoy watching me make ice cream. Because I think it's different for everyone. You may look at my job and think, wow, that looks like so much fun. But the thing is, your life is just as amazing, it's just as fun. It's just the way that you present it to people and the way that you embrace it. But if you're going through a hard time right now, and you're stressed and trying to figure all of this out, I just want to encourage you that that's what it took to get me here. 2019 was one of the hardest years of my life. I had just graduated college and I was trying to force myself to follow the path that everybody was telling me that I should go down. I was putting so much pressure on myself to give up a job that I really enjoyed for the sake of other people's opinions. Because you look like a fool when you go to school for four years and get a bunch of debt and you still work the same job that you had when you were 15. But then a very influential person in my life gave me some advice that I honestly knew, but it just was nice to hear from somebody I respected. But they let me know that I did not need to quit my job. I didn't need to try to be somebody that I didn't want to be. At the end of the day, it's okay if I wanted just to still work with ice cream and continue to move up in that way and maybe own my own place someday. And that conversation was the beginning of all of this, in my opinion. Because since I was finally not trying to be somebody that I didn't actually want to be, I could finally start working on the person that I should be. So I let go of the expectations that I had for myself and I let go of the expectations that other people had for me. I made my life beautiful again, and I began to share that with other people. If some guys on the internet can have fun and make cool videos about making ice cream and making subs, you can do it for anything. Your life is more fun than you think. Find your thing and share it with us all, please. But if you've made it this far, I might as well share the few things that I've learned. Honestly, consistency is extremely important, and you want to try to put out as much quality content as you can. And a great way to do that right now is shorts. That's not only true for here on YouTube, that's honestly true for every platform that I've been putting videos on. It's a lot about consistency. But you also have to understand that not everyone will like what you do. And that's okay. You don't have to have everybody be a fan of yours. I get hate all the time because I'm just a guy making ice cream. And I totally get that. So if you, this is not for you, that's fine. Go on with your life. I will be fine with that. And the same may apply for you. You may build a small audience. Audience, you may build a large audience but the thing is do something that you think is fun you don't you shouldn't be doing this for the numbers if you're doing it for the numbers you'll never be happy but while saying that i do understand that if you're putting hard work and time and effort into something and nobody's watching it then that is concerning i understand why you'd be upset and you'd be worried but the thing is dig into the algorithms figure things out figure out why if you think that your videos are quality figure out why they're not getting out to people that should enjoy them and watch them because if you're making the most amazing content but you're not following what works for the platform you're on then you're setting yourself up for failure but posting a lot and posting frequently gets new eyes on your stuff so if it is quality in your opinion and in their opinion you will grow and you will build an audience and you'll get to have fun with so many people and maybe even make ice cream for them I know I say this in every video, but I just want to thank you. I mean, you made it all the way here. You watched this. You've been watching my videos. So thank you. I appreciate it so very much. Honestly, this is so much fun making videos for you guys. I would do it if there was only two of you, but there's so many more, and I'm just so thankful for that. So thank you guys so much. If you've made it to the end, let's throw a tree emoji down in the comments because it's just a great reminder that nature and life is amazing, and your life is amazing. And so find fun ways so we can all share our amazing lives together.